I'm Fred Steele with Kraft, and uh, I'm going to show you how to, to work both this machine as well as the other liquid coffee machine. And, and first and foremost, don't be afraid of machines. Machines can't hurt you, and you can't hurt the machines. Um, so we're going to start with just kind of some of the key components. When you open up the door, you'll see two containers. One holds hot chocolate, one holds a cappuccino topping. Topping is what gives you your steamed milk for your cappuccinos and your lattes. Um, on this side is a refrigerated cabinet that will have both a decaf coffee as well as a regular coffee. Now, the product comes in a can, comes in frozen. The idea is that you keep at least a couple cans in the refrigerator, and as you pull them, you pull something out, pull another can from the freezer. Um, we'll start with, with how you load the machine um, so that you feel comfortable with it. These tops simply pop just like a soda can, um, and I always just kind of push it back that way. Go in, in the refrigerated cabinet, as I said. And you'll see they label them decaf on the left hand side and regular will go on the other side. Uh, training purposes, I just pulled this out so I can show you what to do. Uh, so, this is the probe, this is where the coffee is sucked up and brought into the pump. So, you simply put that into the can. pops into place and on the side is a place that the tube snaps into. Now, this pump, this pump is what actually draws the coffee concentrate from the can and brings it down here into the whipping chamber to actually give you a finished product. Any time you put a new can in, you put this machine on prime, okay, what that does is it draws just product, no water. It draws product from here and gets it into the pump. Here's how you do this. So you put it on prime, put a cup underneath, and then push the coffee button, because we just put the regular coffee in, and you would do this for decaf also, and you'd push the decaf button. So you push the coffee button. You'll see the pump is working. When you see coffee come out of here, that's how you know it's prime, okay? And you would do the same thing for decaf. If you were replacing a can after it was empty, you would do the same thing. When you take that probe out of the can, you then put, the new, put it in the new can, prime it again, just to make sure that you've got coffee in the lines and you're ready for a cup of coffee. Now, then you put it down onto normal. Click it to normal, and now it's ready for a cup of coffee. Make sure this button is on run. Now, there are three, three, three things on this, on this lower button. It says run, night, and program. Program you shouldn't have to do anything with. The night button is if you want to have the coffee machine on so that you keep hot water hot and the refrigeration unit on, but you don't want anybody to be able to get coffee, then you can push this button on night and it will deactivate all of the buttons on the front. Okay. And that's probably more for your managers to know, but important to know what that means. So make sure that is on run. Make sure the top button is on normal. Make sure your tubes are all out of place. Close the door. And it's ready for coffee. If somebody wants coffee, they hit their cup. All of these lights are blinking, they hit coffee, and they get a cup of coffee. One of the things to, to remember if you're out here and students are out here and they're puzzled by what to do, step one is always push the cup size. Both cups are the same size here, but you want to make sure they do that. If, if students start coming in here and pushing buttons, nothing's going to happen. And when all else fails, steer them to the directions up top, which will give them exactly what they need to do step by step. So step one, choose your cup size. If somebody wanted a decaf cup of coffee, they would, they would come up here and they would hit decaf. Now they can have any of these choices and it will make it with the decaf coffee. The same exact process, cup, decaf, and they can hit decaf and the cup. As long as it's in step one, that's what they'll do. And then from there, all these lights will blow.
once you choose your cup size, then they all are blinking. Okay? Let's stop it there. To fill the cappuccino and the hot chocolate, it's real important to take these out. Okay? They try, you just try to lean them forward, fill it, the powder is very light, and it'll make a mess inside this cap, and you want to try and keep this as clean as possible. Take the top off, pour the product in, put the top on, make sure you turn this up. This is in the down position before you take it out, make sure you turn it up. By doing that, you keep product from falling out where it shouldn't fall out. Now, when you put it back in, see that little little propeller in the back there? That fits in the back of this. So I always try to position this in the same position that that is so it goes in. The other thing is you'll notice a little slot on the bottom. And on the bottom back there is a screw that sticks up. So you want to make sure that that slides into that screw when you push it in, and, and you'll know when it's in spot because it will drop down into this little plate. You drop down in place, and then you simply put the turn, turn these down, okay? Hot chocolate would be done exactly the same way. That's the same little auger. You line it up, push it into the screw. Make sure it's dropped down in place, and then turn that down, and you're ready to go, okay? Pretty simple. Make sure it's on normal, run, you want to fill this, you put it on prime, push the button in the front, either the decaf or the coffee, that gets product up to the pumps, and then from there you're ready to go. Okay, now, you, so you so you got the, the how we're going to do the coffee, how you serve the coffee, how you prime the machine, now you're going to, we're going to do some kind of troubleshooting, cleaning, uh, and then how to reload it again. So. If you come in in the morning or any time during the day and you see all of the lights on the front just blinking, that tells you, the machine is telling you that something might be wrong. Could be a couple things. Could be that you've got an empty can up top, or the first thing to do is to look down here in this digital window. It will say rinse, and a lot of times if you don't get this rinsed on a daily basis, that's usually what the, pro what the, the problem is. Throughout the day, if a lot of people are using the machines, you may have to do a quick rinse. It's a very simple procedure. On these buttons over here, remember we had prime, that's how you get the thing started. Normal is the run position, and then it says rinse. Now, to rinse this, you'll see down here in the window it says rinse. If that was an error code, if all the lights were blinking, that's what it would look like. Rinse, rinse is everything from here down, okay? So you wanna make sure that you get something large enough that you can put underneath there, because it's gonna, it's going to clean the whipping chambers, it's going to clean all the tubes and the spouts. How do you activate it? Hit any button out front here. I always just hit the coffee button. And you'll see water is running in and it rinses out all of the lines. So that from here down, the machine will take care of it. That's it. Now you may have, occasionally you may get some syrup on the tops of these whipping chambers. These just pop, they just pop on. Take them off, and rinse them, and then stick them back on. This side, a little bit more different. More different, that's a new word. This particular one you'll see will start to get caked up over time if, it, if it's not cleaned on a regular basis. And it's got a little, little thing that sticks into a hole in the back of it. I usually kind of lift up and just kind of pull it out. This is what I was talking about. This is the hole where it goes and you can kind of see how this builds up. And what you can do is just, you know, you can take your finger, take a towel or a rag. Just kind of wipe that. This you would want to take and, and, and rinse in a sink. Um, just make sure it's dried real well. If it's not dried real well, then it's going to start to really cake up. Um, and to put it back on, I simply pop it on and then turn it into place until it's in that. Now, because I just put a towel in there and rinse, we want to rinse this again. So it's still on the rinse mode. And I'm going to hit the coffee. And that's going to just spin some water up into here to get that rinsed real well.
Okay, so that takes care of that. Make sure you turn these back down. And make sure you put this button back on run so that it's ready to go. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna designate a can for cleaning the upper section. This will be an empty can. Jerry will tell you where this is gonna be. Uh, and remember we talked about priming the machine. We also have to clean this pump and this hose. So how do you do it? We're gonna take this can, we put about a half a can of water in, hot water, okay? And we're gonna take the probe and stick it in the hot water, okay? Then we're gonna take our cup, and we're gonna put this on prime, okay? And remember, prime takes it from the can into the pump. So you're gonna hold the coffee button down until you see clear water come out of there. Going to rinse the pump out. Now, I recommend doing this every time a can is empty, every time you change a can. If it's in the middle of a lunch shift, you can't always do it. It should be done at least two or three times a week, just to make sure. This is a very highly concentrated product. So inside the tubes, think of it as cholesterol in your veins. Um, inside these, the coffee can collect, and inside the pump, and so you want to keep that clean. Um, so hot water, put it on prime, rinse that off, and then you're good to go. Now, I'm going to leave that there for now. We have a new can, we're gonna put a new can in. Remember I said you just simply pop the top. Put the probe into the can. Place the can in on the shelf. I always twist the can so that the hose is in the back and that way you can make sure it's snapped into place and uh, out of the way so that the door will close. And then remember, we still have it on prime because we want to bring coffee from here and get it up into the tube and into the, into the pump. So we're going to hold the coffee button down until, until we see coffee come out into the uh, cup. So that's pushing the hot water that we just cleaned it out. And here comes the coffee. Okay. Always remember to put it back on normal. And now it's ready to go. Okay, so just a quick review. You see all the lights blinking, the machine's telling you something is wrong. Always look at this window first. If it just needs to be rinsed, it'll say rinse. Uh, it may have an E9, it may have an E10. That usually tells you there's something wrong with the machine. If there's no message there, check your can. Your cans are more than likely one of them is empty and that's what the machine is telling you. How do you make the light stop blinking? You unplug it and you plug it back in. That resets the machine, okay? So again, rinse, rinses from here down, prime takes care of from here down, okay? So you always wanna make sure you do this at least twice a week. The machine will tell you when to do this. This should be done on a daily basis and you may have to do it a couple times a day uh, and it'll tell you if you have to do that. Okay, this is, uh, we're gonna do a quick, uh, quick uh, recap on the other liquid coffee machine. Now both of these do the same coffee. The difference between this one and this one is this will only do regular decaf coffee and hot water. Uh, this is your hot water button in orange. Your regular coffee, orange designates your decaf coffee. This one, remember, will do hot chocolate, mocha cappuccinos, lattes, cappuccinos, uh, and, and regular decaf coffee. So that's the big difference in the two. They look a little different, but operationally they're about the same. This one where you push a button and the machine does it. This machine, as long as the switch is pulled, you'll get coffee. When you let go of it, coffee stops. Uh, so this kind of helps to speed the process up if somebody doesn't want to stand and wait. Uh, as far as maintenance on this machine, inside is, 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 this is basically the refrigeration unit in the other machine. Uh, this one you can keep two cans of each, so you always have a backup, so in the middle of a meal period, uh, if the first can is empty or runs out, you 
you simply take that out, pop the next one, stick the probe in, and keep on going. Uh, same kind of switches, you have a rinse, a normal, and a prime. And on the other side you have a run, an off, and a night. Remember, night keeps the refrigeration unit on, night keeps the hot water tank on, deactivates these so that you can't get coffee. Okay. Priming it is exactly the same as the other. Put this on prime, you put the hose in the can, and you simply pull the toggle, and that will bring coffee into the pump, and you'll see that come out of the spouts, uh, respectively. Uh, likewise, when you want to rinse the top, same process as that one, you'll have the can that'll be designated for cleaning. Just put about a half, half a can of hot water, and you can draw the hot water right from the machine. Take the probe out, put it in the, you know, and I always say take a can because you can set the can in here with the probe in it, and then that way it's a two-hand operation to be able to clean the hoses. So you want to do this when a can is empty, if not, at least twice a week. Um, you'll want to put that on a regular cleaning schedule. Um, then the lower unit, what we did, we put this on rinse. We'll do the same as we'll do the same as the other machine. So you put that on rinse. This is on run, and you pull that. Now this one doesn't have all the hoses to go through. So what it's doing is it's rinsing from here down. So simply by pulling on the toggle switch water will come out. Same thing on this one. You pull that and it just allows water to come out and keep those spouts nice and clean. And then make sure you put it back on normal and you're ready to go. And that's it.